welcome to my first video on my new camera. I'm so excited about her. We didn't name her yet. I don't know, I wanna show you guys what she, she looks, looks like. Baby. She's really pretty. She is wide angle. She zooms real fast and I love her so much. And it is also the first day of the year. Very exciting. I actually just had Christmas morning today because my parents had COVID during Christmas. So we waited until we could do it all together. And I wanna show you guys some of the things I got really quick. I'm gonna do either a week or a few days in my life. We shall see because I'm going on a very special vacation in five days and I might wanna just get this up before then. So we'll see. But I got these mock Birkenstock little clogs because they were sold out on Birkenstock and I didn't feel like waiting. And these are just as cute and just as comfy. Then, my mom got me these really f***ing cute boots that are so comfortable, so warm, and I probably will be living in this now. So excited. My favorite gift of all is my anthropology mirror. So I have been wanting this for so long, and I asked for it for my birthday, and my mom literally forgot. So I got it for Christmas, and it honestly just, like, finishes off the room. It's exactly what my room needed. Show them this one. This one's really cool. It's from um, Urban Outfitters. It's an iHeart Trader Joe's air fryer cookbook. And if you know Brooke and I, we love air frying. And Trader so, Joe's. And Trader Joe's. So there's all air fried recipes in here, which is so from cool. From Trader. Funny thing is, is that we actually um, blew up my fucking air fryer, so I'm going to need a new one very soon. And then I got these shoes. They're from Amazon. They're so cute. I love this look and then this sweatshirt that I've been wanting since the day I saw it and I'm in love It's beautiful. Oh, I got this like floss. This is just from Santa these gifts All the gifts that I got from Paul and stuff and my other secret Santas are already put away But I got this little flosser Dispenser that I could put in my bag and always have a flosser on me, which is important. I got face mask. I got flashlight. These are like stocking gifts. Graham got me and Paul an IHOP gift card and I got this amazing scarf. It literally looks like a throw blanket. Like look at how thick it is. It actually is going to drag on the floor because I'm too short. It's really cute though. I love it. Then this cute bag from Amazon. Shout out Anna. I found this from her. I'm obsessed and I feel like it's going to hold a lot of things but it's also like sleek, elegant. Just loving it. My mother got me this shirt for Paul to corrupt because she thought we were going to go to the concert but um, you know. The tickets are, they're no longer available. So now I got a cool shirt. I think that's everything I got. And I love everything so much. Oh wait, I got this ring from my mom. It's like a mother daughter knot ring. I'm obsessed with it. So dainty and cute. Me and Paul are gonna make vision boards today. We're gonna have our good luck lentils later. I have to film a quick little brand deal. I want to talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. That is White Fox. Shout out to White Fox. They're literally like family at this point. Let's sit down and chat about it. So I'm going to show you a bunch of the new clothes I got from White Fox. I want to let you know that White Fox offers a swim line and an activewear line. An afterpay is available for all US, Australian, and New Zealand customers. They also offer express worldwide shipping. Maybe I should turn off this salt lamp because she's making me look really orange. And the most important part, you can use code Brooke for 15% off site-wide. Let me give you a little haul. It's really, really good, so stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is this pajama set that is so freaking cute and is for the short girls. I mean, tall girls can wear this too. The fluff will just be a bit higher, which is also really, really cute. The fuzzies will not be dragging on the floor. I have very, very short legs. So if you are tiny, these will be good for you. Super duper comfortable. I love how the top covers this whole area because I don't want that to be seen while I'm relaxing, okay? Not even a little bit. Most pajama sets to me are just not comfortable. Sorry, they're not. This light I think might be a little too much for us right now, right? I can't wait until I have my own apartment and I'm strutting around after dinner with my glass of champagne, baking cookies, and watching TV with my mans in this set. 10 out of 10. Next, I have these low-rise jeans that are the perfect length. I really, really love these. I know I'm going to be living in them. Just look at them. Like, look at where they lay. And for somebody, honestly, guys, like, I don't have the tiniest, littlest, ittiest, bittiest lower belly. Like, maybe it's small, but it does have a little bit of love there. It does. And that's it. But these lay so nicely. Don't squeeze me. Size small. Everything is a size small, but these are just amazing. And then I have this corset top with the bedazzle going along the top and zipper in the back. But wait, are you ready to spice up this outfit? How cute! 
So I wore these two tops together on New Year's Eve with black pants and it was literally, guys, I'm not even joking right now. Everyone and their mothers, like literally moms, people that could even be grandmas were coming up to me and being like, you look so sexy. Oh my God, you could better get in a picture in that tonight. Like girls my age, every single age group was loving this top as well as I. It really did me good. Check out my high G. I posted some pics in it. And I just thought this was the perfect combo together this top and this top but just when you thought Penelope it's not the time to be scratching just when you thought I was finished I have another one and I would style this very differently they also have it in white the white is cool because it shimmers like rainbow almost I'm so excited to wear every single color fine Penelope get in you're not messing up my tripod or anything. This is my tripod, by the way. And for our next act, Penelope, if you could just scoot over a little bit. Thank you. We have these really cute parachute pants. But what I like about these parachute pants is I feel that they're a little bit more structured than the average. They have cargo pockets on the side and on the top. And they have this drawstring waist that you can make tight, loose, whatever you prefer. And they also have it around the leg, which I think is so smart. Look at how cute. Like, yes. Both really cute if you want to leave it loose or if you want to tighten it. Next, we have this tight neon green t-shirt i thought i needed because what doesn't finish off an outfit better than a neon color green is everything as we know it's all around my room but i was wearing it today i wear it pretty much every day my sheets are green my wall is green my pants are green and now i needed a green shirt and green pants clearly think of any brand that sells things like this this is doing it better and for cheaper i'm telling you right now they're so good like hello and it's not see-through like half the other brands i swear by these i wear them all the time my actual stuff is in here because how cute is this this is the exact type of bag that i would pair this with that's not why my stuff is in there my stuff is in there because i've been using it every day i wore it on new year's eve it didn't fall off my shoulder i got so many compliments my sister was like wait that literally looks like it's name brand like i can't even believe that oh my god i love i also got her in white because when you love something you gotta get it in every color See ya. Hold on guys, I'm changing over here in the corner. I hope you can't see me with my new wide angle camera, but I have something really sick coming your way. Really, really sick. One sec. This is one of my favorite outfits that I've put together in all of 2021. Wait, it's 2023, bitch. And second of all, it's only the second year. No, oh my God, it's only the second day of the year. But so far, she's popping off. She's casual, but she's flexing on everyone. These pants, again, with the cargo pockets, the little cargo loop right here. They're the it camo. Listen, if we're wearing camo these days, repeat after me, this is the type of camo we're wearing because it's in style and it's cute as and then I have this green corset. It's satin. It's not too tight on me. It does wonders for the girls. I can actually breathe. I can move. I can bend down without breaking my ribs. 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, so the last clothing item I'm going to be showing you is this sweatshirt. It says white fox in the same color, which I love. And then it has the same thing in the back in a circle. Oh, someone look at me like that. But I also got these shoes that I'm so excited excited to wear they have a cuban link for the ankle they're so cute oh my god wait and then i have another pair ow the heel just went straight into my belly button okay if you could just lower the mouth volume that'd be great how pretty i only have one because i didn't unbox the other but i'm obsessed okay and that is everything i got make sure to use code brooke for 15 percent off white fox thank you so much white fox for always coming back to me you guys are the best Today's fit is this jumpsuit from Aritzia that Paul got me. It's this like forest green color. Obviously, we can tell that I like that color by now. And then these fun little boot things that mom got me. This is from Revolve. And Molly got me this amazing scarf for Christmas. Let's go make our dream boards, vision boards. Yay. Let's get it. I'm obsessed with this Zoom. I almost just got hit by a car. Paul just had to move me. This Zoom is like the best thing that ever happened to me. I love the best thing that's ever happened. Well, like, as of the, in the last few days. All right, let's get our supplies. Exactly. Okay, guys, we did find poster boards, but I just feel like these are way too... 
fucking big. We wanted like the thicker ones. The white ones that have like this in the middle. We're leaving with no boards. Different kind of board for a different kind of project for something that has nothing to do Funny with me. Funny how we all became employees. Uh, one more. Isn't that ironic? Like, self-checkout, you're basically an employee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like Sebastian's thing where he's like, I don't want to work. No, he's like, I came to Walmart at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And I learned, and the, I learned whole the whole computer. system. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next place, babe. I hope they have our backs. We really need to make these. We really, really do. We got, what do we got, what do we got? We got three of these ones. We're not busy or anything. It's fine. So I clearly need to go get my pictures printed out somewhere because for some reason, mine are coming out like this and all of Paul's are literally perfect. This was the only good one that came out. No. I think that I'm- What do you mean no? Whoa. You're a perfect human? Yeah. You're just perfect all around. 100%. Nobody's perfect. I am. Oh, I am. See, oh my God, please. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go to, whoa, CVS. Cause I'm trying to do it online, it's just not working. And then we're gonna go to Dina's house, Paul's sister, and have our lentils. Mom, yeah. is that an Italian tradition? Eating lentils on New Year's yeah. Day, it's like good luck. I'm nothing about it. Yeah, cause you're not Italian. No, no, no. let me explain something to you. <laughs> I am from Irish and Italian descent, but everyone said, oh, you're Irish, you don't know. No, I grew up more playing. Italian, okay? I used to go over to my uncle's house with the bacala mm -hmm. on, <laughs> on Christmas <laughs> Eve, the seven fishes. I've seen it all, okay? Anyway, besides for that, it's an Italian tradition to have lentils on New Year's Day, so we're gonna get that good luck in tonight and hopefully finish my vision board by tomorrow, but you guys are not gonna get rid of me until like a few days, so you'll see that. Sienna! Hi, baby! What do you got? So it's yeah, a staple in this house. We do this pepper jelly it. on a cracker with <laughs> unexpected cheddar. <laughs> I don't know why every time it makes me laugh. Unexpected <laughs> cheddar. Hi, buddy. Guys, I bought these for Sienna last Christmas. This was before she was even born. They're the cutest things ever. And they don't even really fit her yet, but they're so cute. And then look at Danny's shoes to match. They're so good. A little father-daughter twinning moment. That's what I was telling them. Oh, we need a little luck we can get. Yep. That's my mother. My mother. If you can't tell, she's like girl form of you. Everybody ready for some champagne? is explaining her menu. <laughs> Some roast pork with an onion sauce, roasted potatoes. Seasoned with what? The potatoes oh, seasoned wow. with oh, Old Bay. Yummy. And a lovely kale salad. All right, let's eat. Let's All eat. Right. Oh, I'm so <laughs> so we want to go on a trip. Now he's really getting the airtime that he's asking for. And he, <laughs> Danny's saying that he wants 16 hours of vlog time. Minimum. Uh, minimum when we go on our trip. It's going to be wildly uneventful. And, <laughs> and he said his attorney will reach out to me. So we'll be hearing from My him. My attorney's too. right over there. <laughs> he has four legs. That's how he gets paid. Hi, handsome guy. Shout out to Molly for getting me this scarf. It's from Urban, but I'm literally wearing it as like a blanket slash robe slash jacket all night. It's just been like over my shoulders and Paul's mom kept saying, I love that sweater. And I'm like, it's just a scarf. And she's like, oh my God, it really looks like a sweater. We're gonna go our separate ways <laughs> for the first time in a while. Me and Paul have been together for like the past week. So we're going our separate ways tonight. Yeah, back to work tomorrow. Back to work. work. Cause we had a whole week of not doing anything from Christmas until New Year's day today. We didn't work. I did like little things here and there, but no editing or like filming for YouTube. And it was really nice 
just to like have a little staycation. Since my parents had COVID, I was staying with Paul. We literally were just together for a whole week of not working or doing anything, which we never ever got to do. So it was really fun and very refreshing. And I feel like it got me motivated to come back onto YouTube and everything and like got my creative juices flowing. Like taking a break sometimes is so necessary, which I never do. So I'm glad that I did it. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Nothing crazy, all like chill things, but little tasks that I need to do. I need to actually put the pictures on the vision board. I need to put away that mess. I have all clothes that are clean from sleeping at Paul's. I have presents. So I'm gonna take a chunk out of my day to do that. I'm gonna work out and I don't know if that's gonna be Pilates or something else because I'm on the wait list for the 8 a.m. class for Pilates. So if I can't get into that, then maybe I'll try the Peloton that my mom got downstairs. I don't know, but all I know is that I'm feeling extremely motivated for 2023 and I feel like this is my fucking year. Like I know that it is. I look scary. Oh my, what like, when have you guys ever seen me like this? Something's wrong, but whatever, we'll figure it out. I'm feeling extremely motivated, like I was saying, for 2023 and I know that this is my year and this can be your year too. Let's do it together. Let's hold each other accountable. You can do anything that you set your mind to. We are abundant human beings and everything is fake. We can attract anything we literally you want in the world. My door is open. I hope my whole family didn't hear me preaching, but I believe in you. You can literally start from absolutely f***ing nothing. You can be underground and in one year. You can be up all the way up in the freaking clouds on top of the world. Whatever it is that you want in life, I, I promise you can go get it. Don't look at me like I'm crazy because I'm not. It's f***ing true and that's the end of the story. Don't even question it. Just believe in yourself, put your head down and work for it. I really do believe in all of you and I want the best for all of you, whether that's wanting to be a world traveler or wanting to be a teacher or wanting to sit home and take care of your kids or sit home and do housework, whatever it is. That's amazing. Do what you want to do this year. That's enough of me for today. Oh, there's blood on this pad. Okay. I will see you guys in the morning. <sighs> morning. I need a sweatshirt. Like good morning. I basically mean fucking good afternoon. Nice about it. I woke up at 10 o'clock. Uh, let's go. So obviously my 8 a.m. Pilates class didn't take me. We're back up to pee. Got a brush and then me and you need to talk. Florida in two motherfucking days. Who knew? Not me. I booked a Pilates class for 6 p.m. Me and Brittany are gonna go together then. That one was actually open. I'm still on the wait list, but there's only one person in front of me, so I think I'll be fine. January 1st rolls in and like everyone's, you know, wanting to like better themselves and work out. So all the classes are full, but I literally need to fucking pack. So what I'm gonna do is clean up this room. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm going to put away these clothes, clean up these gifts, make my bed, blah blah blah, do my vision board, and then I guess I gotta start making a packing list. I can't believe this. I'm so excited. I'm going on a plane. I'm gonna try not to go on my phone too much today. This is just like such a distraction. I'm tired. The sun's not out. Right now, what I'm thinking about is how crazy it must have been for New Year's Eve when it was turning the year of 2000. You went from the 90s to a completely different number. I don't know, that's crazy, but it was the year I was born. Don't forget it. You can never forget my age because it's usually always the year. I mean, granted, I am like eight months behind, but always turning that age. Just toasted a bagel from yesterday. Almost done cleaning my room. I just love bagels so much. So, so much. Guys, this is literally breaking my fucking heart because this right here is my favorite plant ever. I think that I need to cut her, propagate her because she's not doing well. So I think I'm gonna cut like the nice part down here. It's making me so sad because this is my favorite plant, but I have to do it. I have to. I have to do it. I'm doing it. Oh my god. Hated that. Hated it so much, but I have to do it. All right. I'm gonna put it in here. That's cute as fuck still, so it's okay. Cute, right? And I guess I'm just gonna grow out all this. Well, that's very naked. I'm gonna need to do something about this. I do have this really, really cool light that Chrissy got me for Christmas. She was my secret Santa. I also like just don't really want that here, but I literally have nowhere else to put it. That will have to do for now. I could really use a better angle. Alrighty, it is time for the vision board. I accidentally printed this out way too big, but I have all these little pictures and I tried my best to go for like an aesthetic, but it really was not possible for all of them. I'm gonna try to like line them out as best as I can. Ugh, this is 
is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna come back when I'm ready to glue it all down. I did it. I'm just gonna put it right there. I was gonna frame it, but me and Paul cut the paper that they're on. It really just makes no sense. So I cannot find a frame this size. So I'm just gonna hang it up, but I'm not really sure how. Like glass? I don't know, but look how gorgeous she is. I had so much fun making her. Did I just say to hang it up with glass? Oh my God, with tape. Oh my god. The problem right now is that I have no idea what this looks like because I'm standing right in front of it. So maybe we can look in the viewfinder. I'm not sure how high I want it. I also just dropped the fucking thumbtack. Oh. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. Okay. Let me look at it from far now. I almost absolutely hate it there, but I need it there. And that's it. She's definitely very flashy to look at right when you walk in, but mommy has no other choice. I mean, I definitely could have put it on that wall. But now I did just put holes in my wall with the thumbtacks. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I just wanna see what it looks like when I'm laying down. Fuck, I really should have put it on that wall. I really should have. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, babes. I think I'm gonna do this 10 minute guided breathing meditation real quick. Oh, she's starting without me. Okay. Also, I'm getting used to that there already. Definitely need to stick to my vision board. And honestly, it's literally working already. I don't know if I'm just excited that it's up, but like I looked at someone meditating on my vision board and I was like, bro, yes. I need that throughout the bod right now. Also, shop Molly Made. Check out her Instagram. She hand paints these shirts with bleach. She's my bestie. You guys know Molly, but she's selling them now. So click right here and shop. But anyway, I'm going to meditate because my vision board said so. Mm, guys, do yourself a favor and put on a guided meditation because look at me right now. There's nothing that is bothering me. I am just a neutral human right now. Something that they just said in my meditation was everything just is. So true. There's beauty in that. Everything just is. Can't change it. It just is. Just relax. I feel fantastic. And I want to remember this feeling. And I want to put this into my daily routine. Because investing in me is helping everything else around me in my life. And I literally look insane right now. I'm pale as a ghost. My hair is nuts but nothing else really matters. I'm gonna make a packing list for our vacation. I'm gonna sign up for like a meal subscription type thing, like a HelloFresh or every plate or whatever it may be. Here I go, let's do it. Today's workout fit. If you're not feeling motivated to work out, do yourself a favor. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could literally be cheap from Walmart, Amazon, whatever. And get yourself a cute matching workout set. This one's from Lulu. It will motivate you to work out. Like I put this on and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. Can we please take a second for the ponytail growth? Come on. It's been a long time since my hair has been this long. Hi, my little light going off down there. I literally just got back from the gym. Immediately went into the shower, beelined it. Now I have to go eat some dinner and Molly and Kaylee are on their way over. I'm so excited to see them. But for real, that workout was crazy, crazy hard. But I did so good, my first workout of the year. I'm very proud of myself because I really pushed myself and I plan on doing that for the rest of the year. This is my year 2023 let's get it like i know it is like i have a kind of odd like i'm suspiciously excited about this year like it's almost weird you know what i'm saying like that's how good i feel about it because i'm not playing you know also my mirror couldn't get any more fucking gorgeous come on pop off baby oh, she looks so mad look at her kaylee's here look as she cut her hair doesn't it's it look so really cute short. <laughs> Brianna cut it and highlighted it. I love yeah, it. No. In the light, it looks really blonde. So good. It looks I really... It. I always knew that, that color would look good on you, though. Yeah, I found You want to see my new camera? Look at how wide the ankle is. Like, it gets, wow! Like, Isn't that so fun? That's so cool. I'm really excited about it. I wanted to show you these. Look what Brittany got me. At Urban Outfitters, they were selling no, that. No. All recipes. No. But my... I I can blew the fuse on my air fryer, so. Guys, I got this for Christmas. I love this. It's all the colorful places <gasps> around the world. I love that. It's like take pictures and stuff. That's I love it. so cool. Before I turn off all the lights and everything, I just need you guys, I have a list from my retainer, but I need you guys to see the f***ing vibes in here right now. They're everything. Molly and Kaylee just left. I didn't really vlog much because we were just catching up and that's probably the last time I'm going to see Kaylee until she freaking graduates. Hate that. But love her. That's all I know. I am going to see you all in the morning.
I have a lot of errands to run tomorrow. See you guys becoming with. Good night. Good morning. Let's go brush and be alive. Guys, I am legit so excited for this trip we're about to go on. And normally, like, that's not me. Like, I'm, like, an anxious mess. But I'm just excited. Like, I'm going into 2023 extremely open-minded. And just excited for things. Not scared. I'm sure I'll get scared. But I'm just, like, doing shit. Like, I'm just like, no, you have to do it. I'm trying not to think too much about it. So, I'm super excited. Okay, so I'm gonna upload some of this footage that I'm filming right now onto the computer to make it easier for me when I'm on the plane. Maybe I'll edit a little bit today. I don't know. All I know is I have to pack. I have to run some errands. Have to sell tan. What's the other thing? Have to go get Sam a gift. Because we're gonna be away during her birthday. So, I wanna get her something. Okay, so, I'm going back to my old roots. You're like, why the f do you have a Ziploc bag? Oh, because I'm gonna put all my clothes in here and waste all my mom's Ziploc bags. Let's do it. So I have my whole packing list ready. And yes, I only have a carry-on. We're not doing check bags, which is fine. Honestly, I've done this a million times. And I like to keep my bag with me anyway, so whatever, like I'll survive. Mission to fit six days worth of clothes in this bag. I'm also gonna bring a like, big duffel bag. So technically I'll have two. I like to try everything on. So I have outfits and then I have makeup, toilet, tree stuff, blow dryer, shoes are in here, other pair of shoes that I'm wearing. Now I think I want to film a new outro video for my YouTube channel. So I think I'm going to do that. And I need Brian's help because I want to do it on my mic and everything. Also, podcasts will be coming back in 2023. I'm so excited. Honestly, guys, I really do look like a shit show right now. I hate when I'm just not feeling it, you know? I think it's just because I'm so pale. I'm hoping to get some color on this trip. I lied about what I said before. I'm watering my plants first because they're my babies and they need to eat. Comment down below one of your New Year's resolutions. What is something that you want to change and stick to this year? Me personally, I want to build my dream body and my dream life. I'm going all in this year. But your New Year's resolution can be literally taking better showers. Like, it could be anything, you know? You don't have to go crazy like me, but I'm sick and tired of life recently. So I'm going to make my life the best life because I'm the fucking architect of my own reality. And that's the end of that. <gasps> I'm pushing it here. I love plants. I wish I could have a hundred more. But unfortunately, I don't have room for that. When I have a home one day, Paul better watch out. That's all I gotta say. Because plants are gonna be absolutely everywhere. It's about time I clean this poor thing. It's grown so much that I can't even get it out of this thing. Oh god, okay. Yeah, she needs to be cleaned. That's fing nasty. My mom's like, yeah, I do it every two weeks. I'm like, oh, I haven't done this since summer. It's just like a lot. It's really not a lot at all, actually. I'm just lazy. Oh, that may be too cold for your roots, honey. Clean her off. How fing cool is our earth? What? Like, this just happened when I put it in water. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think she needs a bigger bottle soon. Like, how am I supposed to get this bag again? Oh, she's overflowing. Ah, I feel like I'm ripping her apart. I hate that. I hate that. I feel like that was so much trauma for her. Look at how beautiful. Me films a week in my life. The whole video is just in my room. <laughs> oh. I have sensitivity in one of my teeth all of a sudden. And I literally just went to the dentist fucking two times. So weird. Before I make my little outro, I'm eating because I have to eat a meal like two hours before my workout because if I work out right after eating, I throw up always. I learned that about my body very early on into my workout journey. Right now, I'm eating vegan pesto mixed with avocado on sourdough bread with salt, pepper, and lemon. So f***ing good. Okay, just kidding. Or what is that called? That thing? Podcast equipment. <laughs> well, like, I don't know if there's a specific name for it. The podcast equipment is not working. And I wanted to film the outro on a uh, mic because that's what my current one is on and since it's the new year i just wanted to update it but this doesn't want to work for me so i guess i'll just leave it for now i don't know or maybe i'll just film another one on a camera not a mic i just found out that we're going to a very fancy restaurant for sam's birthday when we're away so it's not tied really in the back but i'm trying to figure out different options for that dinner because i didn't pack anything fancy enough this is like ugh, i kind of feel old in it for some reason like i don't know i just feel like it's doing nothing for the chest like maybe if it was like 
open more. I don't want to be hot. Like, there's not going to be any parents there. It's just me and the girls. And this is not giving for some reason. I also tried on this dress. Just a little red dress. Cute. But I don't feel that good in it. So, we have to explore way more options. Also, all my fucking summer stuff is in storage. So, like, I can't get to the bin with all my summer dresses. And it's going to be warm there. So, I got to work with what I have. Out right now this dress is cute it's sexy it's definitely the sexy vibe but i don't know it's not giving girls night out it's kind of giving like date night so something else cute but no it's obviously not the vibe that we're looking for i mean maybe if we open it up a little bit it's actually really cute but i'm gonna get pasta sauce in these sleeves i don't understand what i'm supposed to do with them like it's cute like that but no it's not it's not I love it, but no. This might look a little familiar to you guys because I did wear this in orange on my birthday. But I also have it in pink, never wore it. But I don't know if I want to go crazy like this because it's someone else's birthday. Like, I don't need to be doing this much. She's like, yeah, get really fancy, get really fancy. But it's a little too much. You know what I'm saying? I gotta tone it down a bit. This is really just the best set ever. This is a very good option. I wore this like two years ago on my birthday. And then Brittany wore it on my birthday. Everyone was like, where that dress from? Oh no, wait, she didn't wear this on my birthday. She wore something else. That could actually be really cute. Let me try that on right now. This one is so cute. And I didn't even get to wear it yet. And there's a fucking hole in it. So thank you, Brittany. That's so fucking annoying because now it just like looks gross. This is like the ultimate slayer though. <sighs> I don't know what I'll ever wear. Babes. I found it with these white fox shoes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So this is the fit. Time for Pilates. I need to have a glow up so bad. So bad. So I'm on my way to Pilates, but my camera doesn't fit on the little mini baby tripod that I have in my car, I'm realizing. Like this thing right here. Oh, that's usually where I put my camera. Ugh, I'm just really excited to work out because I need it. I really need it even though i was just there last night it's something that i just can't go without these days it makes me feel so good whenever i'm like oh, i really don't want to go i think about the feeling after the class i think about that like feeling of legit i'm like soaking wet in sweat and just like worked so hard and like really tired myself out and i'm like oh obviously i need to go because nothing beats that feeling like i know that i'm going to feel amazing no matter what like it's a 100 percent guaranteed good feeling after class that's how i hold myself accountable to always go to the gym i wish i could vlog in there but I'm actually a little afraid to bring my new camera in there because I'm treating her way better than I ever treated my old one because I need to get my act together with that. Like, I really would just throw it around. But this one's bigger, more expensive. So I'm not going to bring it in because I feel like it, it fogs up, you know, because it's so hot in there. And then my lens gets wet, you know, and like foggy and the condensation gets stuck inside. We don't want that. Oh my goodness, guys. It's times like these where I wish I had my little tripod set up so I could chat with you guys and actually drive properly. Not that I'm, like, guys, trust me. I'm a very good driver. Very safe. But I should definitely not be holding a camera while doing this. But I feel so fucking good. That was a 45-minute class. I normally take the hour class. So I was able to, like, really get through it. I just wish that I could do all the movements. But, you know, I'm grateful that I could, like, do any workout class consistently at all because in the past that hasn't been the case for me. I don't even know what song is playing right now. Gotta lower that because I'm speaking. But normally, because my back is fractured, I can't consistently do classes without having a flare-up. But with this class, when I avoid doing squats or lunges or back extensions, I'm able to to go four times a week every week without having to stop if I don't want to, which I'm so fucking grateful for because like I said, that wasn't always the case for me. Like I loved doing Orange Theory, but it just wasn't sustainable. It was very like cookie cutter for one specific, you know, like body type. And unfortunately my body doesn't bend the ways it used to. It's not that I can't do squats or lunges or back extensions. I can do all of those things without pain. But in the long run, in like the, for, let's say I'm doing it for a month straight, it really gets to me and it really affects my back. It's also just not good for the alignment of my spine at all, like all together. It's just bad for the future. So this is a great class for me, but it just sucks that I have to like sometimes, you know, do other moves when I want to just do the full squat. I can't always do that. And I do what I can and it works. So grateful for that at least. All right, babes. These look horrible, but I promise you they're amazing i have cabbage wraps with rice black beans refried beans onions some lime salt and taco seasoning so i think lettuce wraps are honestly my favorite thing ever now like tell me why they're literally better than tacos i don't know what it is i think it's the crunch 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I would literally choose a lettuce wrap over tortilla in a restaurant, I think. That's how obsessed I am right now. Ask me again in a month, I'll have a different answer probably, but... I think we all go through phases of eating things over and over and then we eat them. I mean, at least I do. I'm pretty sure that's like a universal thing though. Ready, ready, ready? <sighs> Cheers, babes. I used to literally hate seltzer because I loved Sprite, so it tasted like bitter and horrible. Now it's a seltzer over anything. Who have I turned into? Seltzers, lettuce wraps. Teenage me would have been like, mm hmm, you got the wrong girl. She's not doing that if I told her that. Yes. Why did I say that? Hi. Hey, baby. I have a question. What? Should we make oats for the morning? <laughs> I already did. You're sitting over? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I already made them for myself. Me? Wait, are, I didn't even know I didn't mean to like get any of that on video. You're sleeping Same. over? Am I not allowed? Of course. I don't need a bag. I got everything anywhere here. Babe, that's the best news ever. Best news of the year. Of the whole century. Guys, I just made sugar cookies. Um, they're so good. They literally all melted into each other, so they're squares, but they're perfect in my eyes. We're gonna watch Jerry Seinfeld and Sebastian have coffee and be comedians. Comedians in their in cars. cars getting coffee. We're trying to get her to go downstairs because she slobbers on my comforter. So we just finished 21 Jump Street and now we obviously have to watch the second one. We're waiting for the bathroom because Don't this is an ongoing me. thing in my home where you just have to wait for the bathroom. But Brooks never went to knock and nope. like just to let because somebody know that we, hey we're waiting and no, just like no when they but come we out, don't they come do out. that. We just wait. We respect each other's time in the bathroom. No, I and I totally understand that. But like a, a you know, just like just so you're there where like oh they're they you know, like we're only gonna be there for two minutes. No. We take like five we minutes. We just have to brush our teeth. But we're not flossing, we're brushing, mouth and that's We're it. not flossing because we already did, don't get us twisted. You're right, and I should probably take that into my 2023 yeah, year. I, I but throw it on the board. I probably won't. Like a little knocking. Because I don't like when I get knocked on. Uh -huh. No, it's like I just want to like no. enjoy my time and not have to be like, oh shit, I gotta hurry. Good morning. Good morning. I'm eating my oats. Are you just waiting for a bite? No, I don't know. They're so good. I love crazy hair, guys. So oh, on. I have crazy everything. Anybody else wake up with the stiffest neck every day of their life? I hope you're not alone. So I hope someone comments. Every time I wake up, I have a stiff neck. I'm just a bad sleeper. I'm eating right now because I got palala lati. She's got lati. Mm-hmm. I have to be fueled up. I'm eating a little close to the class. I think I might just have half of this. Because I don't need to be throwing up in class. <laughs> Pilates again. I'm wearing this Free People One Piece. So comfy. This is from Brandy Melville. And I'm bringing my Yeti and I'll see you after. I am not clothed, but I'm about to self tan. I just had an amazing workout. I'm gonna feel amazing after I get some color on me. And then we're gonna run errands. Just needed to update my baddies. Also, I got a smoothie and I normally get apple juice as the base and I accidentally wrote almond milk and it fucking sucks. But I'm drinking it anyway, because that's maturity. I'm mature. Mm -hmm. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I should stop filming while I'm naked. Bye. Fully self-tanned. I need to let this dry a little bit. And then on my to-do list is a few errands that we have to run. And I just got to get back to my manager on a few things. Edit some content that needs to be approved. And then we're going to Becca's house at night. Because from there, we're going to the airport. Ah! <laughs> Guys, me and Brittany I'm just obsessed. picked something up from Brianna's house. I needed my purple shampoo and I had something for Ronnie. And the hug that I just got, like, it's it's, I wish I would have gotten that on video. He literally sprinted up to me with his arms wide open <laughs> and like jumped up for a hug, like for me to stand up and hug it. It was the cutest, most best hug I've ever gotten in my life. Now I think I got everything done that I needed to get done. So at CVS we got Sam, a disposable camera, a card, a picture in a picture frame, yeah, um, a Starbucks gift card, 
And then we got for ourselves some downy wrinkle spray, toothpaste, and mouthwash, and gum. As I got this little thing off Amazon, it's a case for my specific camera. And my camera goes right in here, the little puffball, a strap for this thing if I want to like carry this whole thing around. Which honestly might come in handy for one of the adventures we're going on while we're away. And then my tripod fits perfectly in there and then I have like all accessories, SD cards, batteries, chargers. So this is literally perfect, it's gonna go right in there. And my self tan is developing. I'm sad because I didn't want to sleep with it last night. Because if I did, then I would have went to Pilates this morning and literally sweat all of it off. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do it during the day tomorrow. So I'm gonna shower in a little while and we'll be off to Becca's house. What I'll actually do right now is edit for a bit, then have dinner, shower, go to Becca's. So I don't know when I'll see you, but I love you. Hello from me and my wavy head. So what you missed in the last few hours is my power fully just went out random as fuck. We were literally just sitting in the living room with candles. So my camera was up here and I couldn't see shit. So I wasn't going upstairs. But we're going to be leaving for Becca's house now. And the next time that I will see you is on a plane in the next vlog going to our destination. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you want to see from me in 2023. I love you. See you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I post YouTube videos every week, but if you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. My username is at Brooke Mooney underscore. My sister, my dad, and I also have a podcast called It's a Mooney Thing. If you guys watched up until this point, comment this emoji in the comments down below. And here is today's subscriber shout out. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's a free way to help me out. All right. Peace out, guys. Love you.